Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Follow Sketch February Day 2. Now this is the sketch for today. It's from 49 and Market and lots of mixed media photos that are spread across the page, layers, and also frames. So I've pulled out a bunch of things to make layers. I pulled out frames. I pulled out um, pictures, bows, one photo. I've also pulled out um, some thick washi and some sparkle tool. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to use this sparkle tool or if I'm going to grab another roll of tool that I have, but tool will be on this page. So let's see what I can do. All right, guys. So I am starting out with a sheet of white cardstock as you do when you're doing some mixed media. Now, could I have done a different color cardstock on here? Absolutely. Um, but I find that white just works. So I am doing the uh, packaging technique, otherwise known as the acrylic block technique. And what I'm doing is putting some water and my uh, spray down on the block. And what that's going to do is allow it to move a little bit more freely. And as you can see, I'm putting all of my darkest and my first drops down onto my paper in this one spot over here. And the reason why I chose to do that was because my photo is going to cover up that area. So if it's darker, if the colors kind of meld together because the uh, sprays are all wet, I'm not waiting in between each layer to dry then my photo is going to cover that mess up and I don't have to worry about these big splotchinesses, right? So I grab a swirly swirly stamp and I'm not exactly sure what um, acrylic block I was using before on this stamp. So I grab my big old Brutus Monroe rectangle block and I am doing a loose line uh, across the top of the page, well, like a third of the way down and a third of the way up of the page. And then I'm gonna put my washi tape over top of this. So the washi tape is gonna basically kind of camouflage the two parts where my stamps um, d don't really end nicely like there's a there's a straight line so the stamp is meant to like peek out of something right so I'm making sure that that happens um, with this washi so this is a thick washi and it has um, text on it and I can't I can't tell what the text says for one thing I'm not wearing my glasses and uh, that's a real thing guys like I cannot tell you in probably the past six months my vision has gone downhill so much um, for both distance and up close. So bad vision and bad eyes run in my family. And, you know, my eyes were not ever that bad. My kids have worse eyes than I do. Um, but in the past six months, it's like, are you kidding me right now? I do have a doctor's appointment, an eye doctor's appointment scheduled later at the end of February. So fingers crossed I can get me a new prescription. Um, I'm also getting headaches again every day. So um, last time I had headaches, it was because a cyst in my, on my head um, got that removed and, you know, headaches were away. But now the headaches are back every single day. And I'm positive it's because uh, I'm wearing the wrong prescription because <laughs> my eyes have gotten so, so much worse. Um, anyway, I say all that to um, shut up and tell you what I'm doing on my layout. Um, so now that I've got that washi tape down, I'm using this glitter tool and the glitter is going everywhere, you guys. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there is, oh goodness, oh my word. It's 1.04 a.m. and I am up doing this voiceover because I go into work later tomorrow. So I was like, I can stay up and then, you know, I'm watching YouTube videos and I'm scrapbooking and doing my thing and I look over the clock and I'm like, oh it is really late. It's much later than I thought. Um, anyway, uh, that tool is the sparkle glitter tool. And I did a little, a little knot right there. Um, it's almost in the center of the page. I'm going to mount my photo on some 
uh, patterned paper and then also on some fun foam. And what that's going to do is pop my photo up and it's going to give it a little bit of lift. And I decided to do that because I knew that I was going to be using the chipboard frames. And I wanted to chuck, not chuck, I don't want to chuck the frames. I want it to tuck the frames uh, around my photo. So that is what is going on. Um, I am also enjoying a glass of wine. So I pull out the things that I had pre-planned on using uh, for this layout. Now I will say I don't use everything that I pulled out. I don't use the bow at first, but you know what? The bow is going to come back later. Like it's, it's, it's going to come back later. So the bow is definitely happening. Um, because I really just wanted it on that layout for some reason. Do you guys ever do that where you're sitting there and you're like, man, I just really want this to be on the layout. I need to use it. Um, and that's, that's just the way I felt. Like I needed it in my life. So I am going to go ahead and get these frames on. So this is a chipboard frame. Uh, they are from the Paper Studio. And I'm going to use just that one. So now I am using these florals and I got these from the floral section, the wedding section uh, at Hobby Lobby on clearance. And i am got a pack or two of them and I'm just using them on every single layout. It's because I love them and they're new and yeah, I love them and they're new. I think that that's a good enough reason to use something, right? You love it and it's new. Uh, so I do pop that flower down. I am purposefully uh, putting things where that little knot is that I placed on the tool. It ends up that I cover up the entire left-hand side, so you don't really get to see the full effect of the tool coming down uh, into that knotted area, uh, but you do see it on the right-hand side, and ultimately I am pleased with how this layout turned out. So this is another frame, and yes, you guys, I am using hot glue on this layout. I will tell you that it was a pain in the butt trying to get my products to stick uh, over top of the tool and the washi tape. Like, it, they just did not want to stick. So hot glue to the rescue. Now, that envelope ends up being huge, so I can't use that. Um, I was thinking about layering up this piece and I do layer it up over top of the frame and it kind of represents um, what that second photo is over there on the right hand side of the sketch. Um, but my layout is just going to have the one photo. Now this is a photo of my husband and I. Um, looking all kinds of cute in our sunglasses. And side note, mine are prescription sunglasses. Um, so still using that hot glue gun just to make sure that things stay stuck down because I really don't want things to fall off. I've already got glitter everywhere and glitter's all over my sweatshirt. It's probably all over me by now. You guys, glitter is a real situation. Like it just, it just kind of lives with you at all times. Now, I did end up having a weird uh, space right here where the two frames didn't really connect. Um, so I felt like I needed to camouflage that. I was going to cut that lacy bit off that khaki tag, um, but I decided not to do that. And instead, I went with a ticket. So I've got the ticket down. It's colorful. And I need to, you know, layer something else with the ticket because the ticket is feeling um, kind of plain right now. Um, so I pull out some of my bits. Now I pulled out way more, way more embellishments than I actually needed. Um, and that's okay, right? Like I end up only using the ones that I really need and I am not upset <laughs> that I pulled out, you know, basically pulled out a bunch of embellishments that I just have to put away. It's not a big deal. They live in the drawer next to me. Now, if you told me I had to clean up my room before I made a layout, that would be a big deal. Like, I don't, I don't know if I could do it because the room, 
Woo. The room is a travesty. So, um, yeah. I need to work on that. It's not going to be tonight, though, or this morning, or whatever heck time it is, because, wow, as soon as I saw what time it was on the clock, I just got, like, <sighs> stupid, ridiculously tired. Um, anyway, I'm tucking in little flowers and leaves on the layout um, because, you know, I want this to be a pop of color layout. Now, when I originally saw this sketch, I thought that this would be an awesome page to do black and white with again, um, like I did a couple weeks ago for Mixed Media Mayhem. My layout was all black and white, and I thought, oh man, this would be so awesome to do that la this layout with. Our photo would pop against it so well, and I, it just it just didn't turn out that way. I just went, you know, I just went for the color. And that's fine. You can, you know, go for the color when you want to and go for the muted tones when you want to. It's just a matter of fun. Now, if the big old flower next to my face is driving you crazy, then you'll just know that you're not going to put big honking embellishments next to your face. Now, it is half the size of my head um, in the photo, but honestly, you guys, I'm not stressing out about it whatsoever. <laughs> what I am stressing out about is my eyes are, I'm doing the slow blink, guys. I'm doing the slow blink. <laughs> um, so I'm digging through my Spectrum Sherbet, uh, Sherbet uh, bits of ephemera and things, and I'm just trying to see if anything will work. And I find these word phrases. So I have these two at the bottom. Uh, they end up saying, life with you is amazing, and my heart is so happy. Uh, and then I get two up at the top as well, and that says pure happiness and live in the sunshine. Now, in addition to those words, I'm going to add some more words. I do love decorating with words. Just I just love it. Um, I'm going to add a love you um, right here underneath of the bow. And then over on the right-hand side of the page underneath of the this and that, I'm going to put a chipboard piece that says together forever. So I know I tell Christopher all the time that he's stuck with me. Um, and he tells me that I'm stuck with him. <laughs> so it's fine. Um, but I don't have a banner that says we're stuck. I have a banner that says together forever. So that's what ends up going on to the layout. So I am going to add some glue to these word stickers so that they will actually stick on my page. Because, you know, things staying on the layout, that's important, right? Like, that is that is super important. Um, which is one of the reasons why I like to get my pages into page protectors usually within the month. Uh, because I really feel like it just holds everything together nicely. And if something for some strange, unknown reason does pop off of your page it's going to fall off onto the page protector. It's not going to fall off, you know, behind a shelf or get trampled on or a pet isn't going to eat it or a little kid isn't going to eat it. Like there's, there's things to, to mitigate those kind of circumstances. Now I am placing some rhinestones around the page. Uh, what that's going to do is just, you know, give, give it that little bit of pop, that little bit of woo, you know, it's that little bit of ah. Okay, thing. I am I am really tired. Okay. And that's enough of that nonsense. Now, this little blue piece that I keep moving around the page, it's actually two bits of a flower. And I just um I was joking around with Christopher or Lana. I don't remember maybe Lana because we call her Lana Butt. Um I told her it looked like a hiney, and she was like, you've got to save that and put it on a scrapbook page. So it's going on this one. Um, so yeah, I went to my stash to find some enamel dots, but I ended up seeing these pink hearts that I picked up at Michael's years ago. Um, so I sprinkle those around the page, and then that is finally going to do it for this layout, you guys. 
Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for joining me for Follow Sketch February. If you would like to play along with the sketches, please join the Scrapping Reflections Facebook group. There is a membership question that you do have to ask or, or answer. I ask it, you answer. If you don't answer the question, I'm going to de decline your request, but I do give a decent amount of time to actually do the question. It's not hard, I promise. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys again real soon for another video.